Welcome to lesson number two. Open up the Batman logo GIF file, uh, then resize it to 45%. We learned this last time, uh, just so it fits your window nicely. Um, and I'm going to teach you how to use the tools and the brushes and the colors today. So the first thing you need to know is that you've got color one and color two. Color two is your background color. Color one is your foreground color. Okay, and you can access these with left mouse being your foreground color. I'll just use this pencil tool now to show you left mouse and right mouse is the background color. Okay, you can see I'm drawing over what I just drew then. Press undo twice to get rid of that. Okay, now I want to change this background color here and I can do that with the paint fill tool. Um, and I'm gonna choose a dark blue and I don't really see any dark blues here except for these custom colors which I have made previously. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Go to edit colors, spelt like an American, not like an Australian, um, and find a dark blue. I'm gonna go with this dark blue one down here. You can see I've done this a few times. And then use the paint fill tool and click and you'll notice it's filled pretty much everything except for the very edges which were not quite yellow and weren't quite black. Uh, they were sort of a weird grayish yellow color and unfortunately paint can't distinguish. And so that's the first downside of paint. Uh, but that's okay, because uh, I don't really mind. Okay, now uh, because of this, you could individually zoom in to try and fix it. Um, and I could go through with my pencil tool and draw over it and go, haha, look at that. I'm fixing my horrible edging. Um, but this is painstaking and I'd rather bang my head against a cheese grater or something like that. So instead, I'm going to just change this background color to something else. So generally speaking, if you pick a similar color, you won't really notice the yellow. So I'm going to go with this uh, orange color. And there you go. You can't really tell that there's a yellow edging. Okay, so there you go, Batman. We've changed your color to orange. Okay, likewise, maybe he doesn't like this black bat color. It was, you know, too gothic for him. He's decided he's going to go with green. And we're just going to go with the green bat. All right, next up, I'll show you how to use the text and the eraser tool. Using the text tool, draw a box where you want your text to go. Write in your text. Um, and just say, I want to center this. Um, you have to be very careful not to click outside the box with your mouse. Otherwise, your text will be placed and you'll never be able to change it like this. Oh, whoops. And now I can't change it. Okay, so definitely don't do that. Press undo. Um, right, Batman. And now to resize it and center it, just grab that edge and drag it in. Okay, and move your mouse until you get this multi-directional arrow icon. And now you can float that around just like you can in Word or something else. And once you're happy with its location, you can click away and it will place. Um, but before you do that, I should probably teach you opaque. Um, this option up here takes on the color of the background color, color two or transparent, uh, that makes it transparent. So we'll go with transparent, click away. And there we go, we've got our text. Okay, um, erase the tool, uh, exactly how it sounds. It rubs out things that you don't want. Um, it uses color two as the background color and color one as the color uh, if you would like to just rub out black. So for example, if I uh, have color one selected and then right click, um, I can rub here and nothing's happening because I'm holding down right click, but the second I go over something black, it rubs it out. Okay, so I can use it if I wanted to, to color something. Again, it'll only rub out the color that I've chosen in color one. Okay, um, alternatively, I can use it like a normal rubber and it'll rub out anything if I use left mouse click. Okay. So that's your left and right mouse click erasing options. All right, let's just undo that. Control Z a few times. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some yellow streaks through Batman using our right click. So it's like Tiger Man now or something like that. Okay, and then we're just gonna leave it like that. All right, so that's the text and the eraser tool. Um, Magnifying glass, obviously you use it to zoom in uh, if you're trying to do intricate work. Um, and you zoom down here, so it would zoom back out. Uh, pencil tool, not a great many uses for this unless you're zoomed in and you want to do individual little touch-ups. So maybe I'm going to write here using my pencil tool and I'm going to write a really small 
Batman inside the other one. Okay, you can do little things with your pencil tool there. Um, brushes, a little bit thicker, and you can choose different styles of brush, like a big fat one or a thin one. Okay, or a calligraphy style one. Okay, there's all different styles of brushes you can use there. Um, so yeah, that's your brushes and your colors. Uh, save this and move on to the next lesson.